trying to log in into this Cisco switch and I'm not able to. No matter what password I try, duh, not able to get in. A very common problem. You forget the password or you get this device from somebody and they ask you to do something on it or you want to experiment with it but you're not able to get in. Today's video I'm going to show you how to fix it. So you know what the problem is. You want the enable password, you don't have it and obviously um, there's no way to get around it. The ingredients. A Cisco switch that you don't know what the password is, a console cable, and a computer, and of course a terminal. So the first thing that we need to do is to power cycle the switch. In case of 2960, there is a mode button. Most of the Cisco switches actually have this mode button that you need to press. But um, before you press it, you have to unplug the power from the switch and then press the mode button and then plug the power and keep on pressing it for a few seconds. All right, as you can see, it says the password recovery mode is now enabled. And then the switch is dropped into ramen mode. So what can we do here? So first we have to initialize the flash. So I'm gonna type the command flash initialize so that we are able to read the contents of the flash. All right, now I'm gonna list the files in the flash. You see there are a few files in here. The one that we are interested in is the config.txt. Uh, Conf.old is an old configuration, is a backup. And let me explain how the switch works. When it loads up, it, it's trying to find this config.txt. If it finds it, then it's going to read the content and the username and password is stored in there. So then um, it's going to read it and when you want to log in, you have to provide the same password, uh, username and password. But what happens if we rename this file? So I'm going to do that. config, I think copy and paste doesn't work because I'm using screen. I'm going to rename it to yeah, conf2.txt right and let's verify it. So now it says conf2.txt, there is no config.txt and the suffix is not really important, you can just change it to config.log, conf2.log. Uh, as long as it's not config, the text, the device is not going to read it. So I'm going to power cycle the device from the command line, and then it's going to go through its thing. It's going to decompress the iOS. Okay, so now the switch is back online. It's asking us to go through this wizard and set it up. I don't want to gonna go into the privilege mode so now we are in privilege mode so what happened let me show the content of the flash we still have this config.2.txt there's no config.txt and if I do show run you don't see a username you don't see a password you don't see anything basically these are just default configuration so we have two choices now we can start configuring this device from scratch or write the configuration and it's going to create a config.txt in here which is the default config now every time the device boots up it's going to go through this file and then load the configuration from this file which is pretty much the same thing more system um, or flash config.txt it's basically the running config or the startup config it's the same now 
What if I want the old configuration back? That's easy. I can do copy flash con to that text into the running config. Or I can copy it to startup config. No difference. But if I wanted it right now, I can have it right now. If I copy it to startup config, I have to power cycle the device in order for changes to take effect. So I'm going to do that. And as you can see, it's going to read the VLAN at that file and then it's going to bring up the interfaces. Okay, so now you can see the device name is changed. Now it's written test one. If I do show run, you see a username and password, two users actually in here. But if I power cycle the device, then the same thing is going to happen. I mean, of course, I have to save it. Okay, so now this thing is into the startup config. So if I power cycle the device, I'm going to see the same thing. It's going to ask for a password, which I don't know. So now I'm going to go into the command, uh, the config terminal. I'm going to say William2 privilege 15 secret William. enable secret it's William. And then if I do show run, you see three users now. So in this case, now I have the username and password. I can create a new user or I can change the old user password and I can write it into the configuration to the, to the startup config. And next time the device boots up, I'm able to log in without any problem. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's how you do a password recovery on a Cisco switch. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification for this channel.